Well, welcome back to UFOs Above Us. All right, today we're going to look at a time-lapse video that I shot today, April 6th, right from my back porch. I'm pretty excited about this. We're going to start off looking at the individual frames that had objects, and I shot about 350 pictures in that time-lapse, and three of them had an object. So you saw the first one. It was real difficult to see. There's the second one. You can see a little dot. The third one's the one I'm excited about, obviously, uh, and we'll get to that, and we're going to zoom it way in, but bear with me, and let's look at these first two to show you. Uh, I shot this on a Canon A6300. It was in 4K mode, which is ultra high res, and it allows you to really kind of dig down in your picture and pull out the details. So there it is at just a partial zoom, and then we're going to go ahead and crop way in on the image, and you'll see exactly what that object was there. All right, so there it is blown up, and that looks like some kind of an insect to me. Um, so maybe a bee or something like that, or a moth. Um, so we struck out on that first one. But, you know, when you see these objects on the original image, they're so small, your naked eye can't really discern them until you pull out the image and kind of zoom in. So here's the second object, a little bigger than the first one, but still very small. Now, when you zoom in, you start seeing some shape. And I'll be honest, when I saw this one, I thought I saw some kind of a wing shape in there, so I, I wasn't too excited about this one. I thought, that's probably a bird or an insect. And sure enough, when you zoom on in on it, it's a, you know another strike for us. This, this second object, nothing really to get excited about. It's just a, a little creature, some kind of an insect. Um, but just wait till you see this third one. This is what got me excited and why I posted it today. Look at that. This is the original raw image straight off of the camera from that time lapse. Now, here it is zoomed in. Now, I did add a little brightness to this so you can see it. I had a fixed exposure on this time lapse, and as it got darker, um, it obviously made the image a little darker. So I brightened it, and that was it. And look at the shape on this third zoom. That's the picture that most excites me. What I see, and again, everyone's going to draw your own conclusion, but I see a rim on a saucer shaped object. I even see a little bit of a dome on the top and a shadow on the bottom. Um, so here it is zoomed in, kind of a max zoom where it starts pixelating. And, uh, you know, I, I was really excited to capture this. And it's especially nice because I did it right from my back porch during the daytime hours. Couldn't have been easier than that. So here it is. We'll look at the pictures again. Uh, you know, I don't know what to say about that other than look at that object captured in North Texas right here today on the afternoon of April 6th, and you tell me what that is. All right, so as we look at these zooms one more time, I just want to encourage people, you know, I don't know for sure that that's a flying saucer. Um, it certainly looks saucer-shaped to me, but it could be something else, so I'm trying to keep a totally open mind with all my videos and just post the truth. I'm not filtering it or manipulating it, and I just call it what I see. And I wish more people would do that. So, you know, for UFOs above us, I just want to encourage you, like it, share this, get the word out on this one especially. Um, but most importantly, watch for yourself, because the answers are up there if we look.